5.50 in the morning, Saturday, February 24th, 2018. Now, the month and the exact day are completely irrelevant, but the day of the week and the time, they actually have something to do with this video. Because this video is going to focus on how badass Saturday mornings were. I'm not going to generalize and say for which group. Because every group has their own sort of personal favorite Saturday mornings. For me, I was born in the early 90s. I was born in 94. Saturday mornings were, in my opinion, or they're arguably the best Saturday mornings for their, at least the 90s kids. Poor or rich, because at the end of the day, actually at the beginning of the day, we all watch the WB. Hands down, the best Saturday morning cartoon channel. And I'm going to go on a, on a side note, and I know I'm not tripping balls, but I'm pretty sure I remember when the WB used to have cartoons from noon to to three Monday through Friday I know I'm not the only one who remembers that I, I'm if I am I'm going fucking insane because I clearly vividly remember watching shows from noon to one it was a full hour it was Jackie Chan Adventures which that show was the shit from one to three I don't remember if it was Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh no Yu-Gi-Oh was at three or um two actually my bad because I remember when I would get home, I would watch like the last 10 minutes. So I remember. From 2 to 3, I can't remember. But um, but I also remember watching Beautiful Joe. I didn't even know I had a show. I, I don't remember what uh, time Beautiful Joe came on. But I remember vividly watching Beautiful Joe on the WDP. Or now known as the CW. But... On to the Saturday morning. If I'm sweating, I'm sorry. It's just fucking hot in my room. And if you hear background noise, I got my window open. My camera is literally five inches away from my window. So, sorry about the background noise. I'll see if I can do anything post-production. Or post-editing. Whatever the hell it's called. On to the Saturday morning cartoons. I really feel like a part of me died when three or four years ago... It was announced that Saturday morning cartoons were going to be a no more. I don't know who was behind it. But now, in the CW, instead of the Jackie Chan Adventures, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! We get the bullshit educational shows like Dr. Pole, some fucking Polish doctor pretty much. There's one show where a guy rescues bears. The Dog Whisperer, that, that was a, that's, that's a pretty good show. Uh, not because the guy's Mexican. I, I, I mean, I used to watch the show when I was little, too. That uh, Cesar Milan, he actually lived. That's, that's a good show. So, I'll forgive that one. Again, not because he's Mexican. Like I said, there's a lot of fucking educational shows. Uh, I don't know all of them. But, uh, they suck. They They suck. Even the, even the Dog Whisperer, compared to how Saturday mornings were seven, eight years ago to now. Mm -mm. Saturday mornings nowadays, they don't even stack up. Fuck that. And, uh, but uh, I think they're shit, but apparently some people like them because they keep fucking showing them. I, I really wish just one channel, one, uh, even if it's like the, the most hated channel. To have Saturday morning cartoons. Because I, I remember a lot of shows had Saturday morning cartoons. And some even had Sunday morning cartoons. Uh, I remember, um, well, obviously the WB. Side note, I also remember when I was like three, four years old. I, I remember the WB logo when it had a frog with a top hat and a cane. It, it has nothing to do, but I, I, I don't know why I remember that. Other channels or networks that had a... Saturday morning cartoons were, if I can remember all of them, were um, ABC, which uh, I forget what it was called in the mornings, but it had like a cliche name. 
uh, Fox was called Foxbox, and then uh, and then afterwards was called Fox Kids, or it might be backwards. Like first it was Fox Kids and Foxbox. I can remember. Uh, I don't know if it was NBC or a uh, CBS that had them. But I think it was both. I don't know. I not. I think it was CBS because I remember watching the Magic School Bus on there too, even though it was on PBS for some fucking reason. A PBS too, but that was way fucking early. Like from five to eight, you can even enjoy them. I, but I think the one I remember the most was uh, the C uh, the WB, the uh, WB for kids. And uh, you can actually that website still exists, wb4kids.com. You can actually still go to that website, but it mostly has like Looney Tunes and uh, um, anything old school Warner Brothers, uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, that's pretty much it because Looney Tunes are like the mascot of the Warner Brothers animation. No, I'm fucking lying. I'm a lying motherfucker. It also has the animated Batman series, uh, Superman, Justice League. I actually just went on it recently about a few months ago, so that's probably what I remember. But um, I think the WB is the only one where I can remember most of the, like, the names of the shows. Um... It used to be called the WB, uh, uh, WB for Kids, for the longest time, and then when it changed to CW, it was the CW for Kids, then Toonzai, which was nothing but anime, uh, then Vortex, then this shit, which, which I think it's called One Magnificent Morning. What the fuck is so magnificent about taking away cartoons for not just kids, but us adults? I'm not the only one, you motherfuckers. Don't single me out, because I know 20 and over. Some of you motherfuckers I know are 20 and over. I know that you would watch Saturday morning cartoons if you got the chance. Don't lie. This idea for a channel that has nothing but Saturday morning cartoons, it would be a good tie-in to a video I did a few months back where I said I wanted the 90s to come back, or where I wanted 90 shows to come back. I feel that they should make like another Boomerang channel. Yes, I know Boomerang has old school shows, but basically anything that Cartoon Network eats up and shits out, they put it on Boomerang. So as time goes by, the 90s shows get deleted or erased from Boomerang and you get nothing but the bullshit that they have now. So what I propose is Warner Brothers, Nick, uh, Disney, uh, anyone that had badass 90s shows to just make like a, a contract or whatever uh, a shared network I don't even know if it's possible so they can just flood it with uh, 90s shows and I can guarantee you everyone will love you nobody is gonna hate it I, nobody is gonna hate that show I mean that, that channel that network whatever you want to call it why? Because for some reason, 90s shows have a certain nostalgia feeling. Some people feel that the 90s were the last generation to have common sense. I honestly don't think that. If you have common sense, you have common sense. My personal opinions on the generations, I they're, they're relevant to this topic. But what I do know is that that channel, that network, will be successful. And the best thing is you don't have to make new shows for that. You can just show reruns or marathons certain days of the month or the week or uh, for holidays. You can show nothing but shows that's, that feature that specific holiday. Because, motherfucker, you had a lot of shows in the 90s. And almost every show did a one episode on every holiday. So you're pretty much good to go. All you need is, like, the okay of the executives. And if you get that, you're good to go. Now, where I'm going with the Saturday morning cartoons is you should, for Saturday mornings, I mean, if it's going to be an all cartoon network, like nothing but straight up cartoons, it might not feel the same because Saturday morning cartoons, they're cartoons on a show that doesn't have cartoons. So it might take away from the feeling from the glory but you can add your own twist like um, this is where people might get split but 
if you want to make for one week or, or one Saturday with nothing but anime, go ahead. One uh, Another week, nothing but Cartoon Network shows. Another week, nothing but the WB shows. Another week, nothing but Nick shows. Like, it, it, give it a, a, a theme or a pattern of how you're going to show cartoons. Because then it's just going to become stale and it's just going to become like Boomerang. No one's going to watch it anymore. And you just, your ratings are going to fall. You can also do it with any kind of morning. It doesn't have to be Saturday mornings. Like I said, some networks actually had Sunday morning cartoons. I think ABC was the only one I remember from uh, Sunday morning cartoons. Uh, I think it's the one that had uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man or, or one. It's one of the Spider-Mans where um, where you had the wings. I can't remember which uh, show it was or which network, but I'm pretty sure it was ABC. If I'm mistaken, correct me. But yeah, you can actually, other than Saturday mornings, you can, como se dice, make it unique, you know? Fucking roosters. And a lot of people actually had, well, I'm going to call it a weird fetish. I'm, I am going to call it a weird fetish for only watching like live action shows. You can do the same, cabrones. I mean... 90 shows or 90 shows. I'm not saying it has to be cartoons. It's just cartoons tend to be more popular in the 90s than live action shows. You can have 90 shows or early 2000 shows. I don't really watch a lot of um, live action 90 shows, so I'm not. I don't. The only ones I know are um, all that. Uh, the Amanda show. I'm gonna consider it because it started in '99. Um, I think that's it. Like I said, I don't, I don't really watch that many live action anime shows. I mean, if you want to include Fresh Prince, I didn't really watch that. I don't really like Fresh Prince, to be honest. But uh, um, the 90s shows that I watched, like live action, were Roseanne, Home Improvement, Family Matters, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I think that's it. And early 2000s, oh, you got good, some good shows. You got Drake and Josh. Again, the Amanda show because it went from 99 to like 2004, I think. Cartoon Network really didn't have that many live action shows when it did. That's when it started going to shit. Like, the only live action shows I remember from Cartoon Network are from like 2008 and, and newer. Which were um, Destroy, Build, Destroy with Andrew WK. Brain Rush, which is like some fucking money winning show where... This one black guy gets on different rides with like a bunch of kids and asks some questions. And the other siders, which was a bunch of fucking prepubescent little shits hunting for ghosts. And yes, they were all white. You gabachos are some of the fearless motherfuckers on the planet. So this is what I propose. Again, doesn't have to be cartoons. It could be mostly cartoons. If I had the fucking power to decide, it would be Mondays. Uh, okay, my opinion, I'm going to choose the my least favorite to the most favorite. So the weekend could be like, so people can wait for the weekend, you know? Just like the regular week, if you got a shit job. Mondays is going to be nothing but anime. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to love anime as much as George. I'm not going to love anime as much as I love Star Wars. I've said it before. I am not a huge fan. I will watch it just to give it a try. But if I find something better, I will change the fucking channel or put something else on. Mondays will be anime. And I'm talking uh, not, not Pokemon anime, not Yu-Gi-Oh anime. I'm talking fucking Cowboy Bebop anime. Geno Cyber, well, that's a little too graphic for, for, like, kids, but you know what I mean. Like, that kind of type style of anime. Uh, Dragon Ball Z fits in that demographic, so. Tuesdays would be the other kind of anime, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Digimon, those kind of style of anime. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, I just don't know. Um, Wednesdays would be early 90s or mid-90s, or actually any kind of 90s Nick shows. Being, uh, Doug, Hey Arnold, uh, I don't remember which one, uh, Invaders in, was that on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? I didn't really watch it, that's why. But if it's on Nickelodeon, I'll put it there. Thursdays, 
Hanna-Barbera cartoons. You are not going to win an argument with me when I say Hanna-Barbera cartoons are some of the best cartoons to have ever existed. The Flintstones, the Jetsons, uh, Johnny Quest, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Lab, I think Samurai Jack, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to count it, just in case. Powerpuff Girls, I think, was made by Hanna-Barbera. Uh, Scooby-Doo. Oh, fuck. I was forgetting one of the good ones. The Hanna-Barbera cartoons are some some of my favorite. Fridays would be probably um, late 90s shows. For doesn't really matter. It wouldn't really matter what channel. Because late 90s are some of the best years to have shows. Uh, if, I didn't, if Powerpuff Girls wasn't included in... And Wednesday, uh, Hanna Barbera, uh, Thursday for Hanna Barbera, it'd be that. Um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Ren and Stimpy, Cow and Chicken, Cat Dog, and for Saturdays, well, it depends. For the Saturday mornings, I would, like I said, every week would be a different thing. So that's that. But it had to go from a certain hour to a certain hour. So let's say from seven to noon, which was almost all. Saturday morning cartoon hours for networks from 7 to noon uh, but from noon to the next fucking day it would be straight up Nick cartoons like nothing but Nick cartoons it, it doesn't have to be um, 90s or, or anything it, it has to well it can be 90s and early 2000s like Fairly Odd Parents, SpongeBob, uh, before they got shitty. I didn't really watch, like I said before, much cable when I was younger. I was fucking poor. So I didn't get cable for the first time until I was like 12, 11, some shit. So, and Sunday, all day Cartoon Network. Samurai Jack, Courage, Kids Next Door, Foster's Home, uh, I don't know if I should count uh, Camp Laszlo. I don't know what year it was made. So I'm not, just in case. But that's that would be the perfect network. That network will struggle to struggle. Bottom line is, I miss Saturday morning cartoons. I really fucking do. I'm turning 24 in four months, and I feel like I'm fucking 40 because... Part of me died. Or entirely morning cartoons died. Fuck you, whoever was behind that. Hope you get ass cancer. What about you, fuckers? What were your favorite Saturday morning cartoons? Let me know. I'm gonna let you go because I wanna play some Xbox now that I got a new battery set and a new game. So, later, fuckers. You can see my last video, acá. You can subscribe. Over here, and you can see all my fucking social medias aquí abajo. Now you better fucking watch the last video because you never know it could have been funny. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it on Facebook, Twitter, anything you can share it on. So get to it, fuckers.